can you tell us about Zach and how his passing has affected the band? And like, you, do you still use the lyrics? Because I've seen a video where he was he had this stack of lyrics like fatter than a freaking phone book. Do yes. uh, you still use his lyrics? And just tell us about Zach and those who don't know Zach. He was a 80 year old guy. He joined our band when he was uh, 72, and um, he was you know the oldest punk rocker we like to think and real punk rocker. Um, and I don't know, he lived the fuck break lifestyle as we now refer to it. I mean, he just was, you know, had that same attitude that you have when you're uh, 16 or when you just got out 30 hours in jail or you're 80. Zach was, you know, inspiration. So he taught us a lot how to live. And he left behind, um, you know, close to 50,000 lyrics, which right now I have in storage. I have to pay storage over on Avenue D. And I got his ashes on my TV, which we're going to scatter. He wanted to be scattered in the sea. And it was bad weather all winter, so we're going to Europe on Wednesday. Maybe bring him back to the old country. I mean, he's from Polish, Irish descent, and uh, you know, scatter it maybe off the cliffs in Ireland if we don't get stuck in the uh, customs with a, a kilo of Zach. <laughs> you know, it looks like some illicit substance. It's like this ash. It's very heavy. Anthrax or something. Yeah, the anthrax <laughs> dust. Like, you know, Zach is spreading the disease, but it's good disease. You know, we have lyrics that we are still you know, putting on, for example, on that record, there's a song called Critical Mass. Another one inspired by Critical Mass. This is instrumental, though. But he wrote a ton of Critical Mass lyrics. They sound like rantings of, like, a Dr. Seuss madman. And then suddenly, one day you're supposed to be reading, and you're like, oh, my God, this is genius. Like, another genius one. Like, you realize there was something about his consistency and the way he wrote. There's a lot of stuff we recorded in the home. We would bring, like, a little a digital recorder and play him tracks we were working on and he would record his vocal parts because he was recording right to the end. The day before he passed, he and I recorded a song together in the nursing home um, called uh, Pulling Teeth. And his final lyric there we recorded was like, it's like pulling teeth, finding inspiration, pulling teeth, eow, eow. And so I guess he maybe got his final, he had no teeth either, right. fuck teeth. I know somebody who lived the fuck break lifestyle. His name was Joseph Bernard Zach. It's here for Zach. Another casualty of the Reaper. But he had a full fucking life, and we learned how to live a lot through Zach. This is a song he wrote the lyrics to when uh, it's very unpopular to criticize the president. You get in trouble at the nursing home. But he fucking did it anyhow. To this day, we have to put our own records. This one's called Bush, Bush, Bush. Enemies of freedom. Enemies of freedom. Sleeper cell, sleeper cell, sleeper cell. Enemies of Bush, Bush, Bush. Bum, bum, bum. He bum, bum, bum. The Constitution. Bush, Bush, Bush. That bum, bum, bum. He bum, bum, bum. The Constitution. Yeah. 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 Yeah.